Hey, this is MJ from the Selling the ATL Studios, and in this video, I want to talk to you a little bit about my tagline, which is your unfair advantage. Now, I know that when many people read that or if they hear that, instantly they think negative. And the fact is, it's not their fault. They were conditioned, or we were conditioned uh, to, to play fair on, you know, on the playground when we were little. And, uh, and when you're living in a world of average, everybody wants to be fair. But I'm not interested in being in a world of average, and we are talking about your largest asset that you will probably own. And so when you're talking about a real estate transaction, unfair advantage should not be a negative thing. And so that's why everything I do is designed to give my clients an unfair advantage when they're working on their real estate transactions. So I'm gonna explain the definition, I'm gonna read the definitions actually to you and then explain what I mean by those in the context of real estate and why it's not a negative thing when when I'm talking about the way I'm talking about it. So we'll start with unfair. Uh, unfair is treating people in a way that favors some over others, not equitable in business dealings. So that's unfair. Now advantage means something such as position or condition that helps to make someone or something better or more likely to succeed than others. So now in the, in the uh, context of real estate, what I mean by that is when you're selling your house, you obviously wanna sell your house for as much as possible and you wanna sell it as quickly as possible, right? So why, why would you not want the unfair advantage over the competition, which is the hundreds of other houses that are on the market that are trying to sell to buyers right now? You, of course you want the unfair advantage. You want to be, you want to look better than them. You want to be able to sell for more than them and you want to be able to sell faster than them. That's, that's the main goal for every single client that I've ever worked with when I was trying to sell their house. On the buyer side, you want to be able to not have to look at 100 houses to find the best one. You want to be able to go and find a few of the ones that you like. You want to be able to put the offers in. You want to get the best deal you can get. That's an unfair advantage for you. So that's what I try to provide to my clients. And I'm not talking about being sneaky, I'm not talking about being unethical, I'm not talking about cheating. Um, the fact is that I give presentations on what I do, um, but 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 people, other agents just can't keep up. And, and so that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about giving my clients the unfair advantage. I'm talking about doing things that other agents either can't or won't do, and that's with time, energy, or money. And what I mean by that is uh, in, like investing in, in technologies that, that, that make my job easier and take take stress off of me so that I can spend more time with you and, and helping you achieve your goals. I'm talking about hiring people who are the best at what they do so that the transaction process is, um, is much smoother, it's less stressful so that you can be clear-minded and you can make the best decisions for you uh, versus the competition who or their agent may not be interested in this and so they're stressed out, they're not able to make the best decisions as possible which gives you the unfair advantage. I'm also talking about um, understanding the, the market. Now, I have an MBA with a focus in finance, and so I have this geeked out spreadsheet that I do uh, every morning that gives me an idea of what's going on exactly in the areas that I serve. Um, and so uh, I know what we need to do almost instantly in order to, to put your house in the best position to sell for as much as possible in the shortest time possible or to get you the best deal when a new house comes on the market. Um, and then finally, I know what I do best, and I know who I serve best, and everybody else I refer out. Now that might sound harsh, but um, that's that is one of the ways that I've uh, I've done so well in this business is that I know who I, I serve best, and I serve them, and the others I don't. Um, now, when you're watching this video, you may be looking at it and you may be saying, "This dude is crazy. There is no way in the world I would work with him. He's talking really, really fast. He's not dressed up. He's wearing a hat." Um, I have no idea what he's saying even. He's talking about being unfair. Um, and, and that's completely cool. I completely understand that um, because like I said, I am not for everybody and everybody's not for me. That's kind of what we're doing right now in this, this interview process while you're watching these videos. You're kind of getting a feel of who I am. And then when we talk, I'll get a feel of who you are and, I'm will, and I'll be able to decide at that point if we're a good fit or not. And if we're not, like I said, I'll refer you to somebody who, who is. And if I am, then uh, we'll, you'll get on board and, and you'll be part of uh, um, the, my clients that uh, they get the unfair advantage when they're either trying to buy or sell their real estate. So uh, that's what I mean by unfair advantage and that's what I mean by your unfair advantage. So uh, if you're interested in talking with me further, uh, there is a button below this video. Just go ahead and click that and it'll, it'll, it'll send you over to uh, um, an email so that I can, I can get you scheduled. 
uh, at a time that we can we can talk very quickly and uh, move from there. So that's all I have right now. That's your unfair advantage. This is MJ from Selling the ATL, and I'm out.